Okay, what you are looking at is part two of the NES controller mod. And there is the NES controller guts with the wire leads I soldered on, leading to the D sub connector, which I then modded into an Atari 2600 controller board, added a toggle switch for start and select function, and added another Atari 2600 button on the back of the board. So we have A button, B button on the back, and the four-way control. And by the time it's all said and done, I will have an Atari 2600 controller with two buttons, A and B, and a toggle for uh, start and select to work an NES. Now this is a functionality test. Let me just put a game on. It's a little difficult because I'm trying to film this and operate everything at the same time. It's a little difficult to work the toggle with one hand, but the start button worked. You flip it to the other side for select. Oop. Select works. We have the fire button for the Atari controller. The up on the Atari controller stick. It's a little hard to see. Left. Right. And down. Now, the B button functionality on the back, it's hard to see there. I uh, accidentally broke a wire off when I was hooking it up. So I'm gonna have to resolder that wire back on to get B button functionality. And now that I see everything works, except for that B button I broke, uh, I'll have to finish building the case, drilling out the holes for the new buttons and I should have an Atari 2600 controller that works in NES. How do you like them apples?